This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I explain some of the key settings you need to consider when configuring a multicam source sequence. But what happens if I want to have more control than that? Well, let's create a multicam clip by selecting three clips and we're going to control click on them and create a multicam source sequence. And we're going to call this Multicam 2. Now we've seen already that I can synchronize on timecode, provided matching timecode exists on all the cameras, as it did with the ice dance. We can sync on audio, but it takes a while. And if I've got a long clip, 30 minutes or 60 minutes, go for a cup of coffee and come back, it'll be synced. But what happens if I don't have the budget for matching time code and I am in a hurry and I don't really want to go for coffee? My recommendation is to use clip markers. Go up, double click. This is a scene from the two real guys. And I've put a marker in where the clapper slate claps for each one of these three clips. Make that a little bit higher. There we go. There we go. So I've got a clapper for each one of these. When I select them and go to create multi-camera source sequence, when I select the clip marker, unlike Final Cut, which requires the slate marker to be the first one in the clip, Premiere can work with any marker as long as you name it. And the name of the sync marker needs to be the same on all three clips. So I named the marker Slate. And that way, there's a, that, this marker right here, this marker is called Slate in all three shots, and it will now sync to the Slate marker. Now, the reason this is important is watch how fast this is. Done. Whoa, that was quick. Far faster than syncing based on audio. Let's go back and do it again. Click here, click here, control click. So we can sync on timecode, blindingly fast, but takes gear. We can sync on audio, works, but has to have audio on every camera. We can sync on clip markers, also blindingly fast, but requires you to set a marker. Generally, that's why clapper slates are used, or a camera flash. You've got a sync point to work with. We're going to stay with the clip marker. The sequence preset. What this does is this determines what the codec frame size and frame rate is going to be. When it's set to automatic, it will match the first selected clip in a multicam sequence, which is why you want to pay attention to what your first clip is. If you're using double system sound and there's a bit of a, a sync offset between where the audio is and where the video is, you can dial in an offset. I've never in my life done it, but it's nice to know. You can move clips to a processed clip bin, which is a good way of indicating which clips are in a multicam sequence and which are not. Because I'm reusing these over and over in this demo, I'm not going to move them for the demo today, but I do use the processed clip bin in real life. Here, under Sequence Settings, this is actually a really significant choice you're making. When you select Camera 1, it means that you will be editing the multicam sequence video only. The audio will not be touched, and the audio that is heard will be the audio on the first selected clip when you were building the multicam sequence. That's why that first clip is so important. When you select all cameras, you are editing video only, but you're hearing audio from all cameras. When you select switch audio, you are cutting the camera and its audio, audio and video edits, every time you make a cut. Now, if you think about most multicam clips, most of the time you're getting a mix off the audio board or you're getting a mix from an audio engineer who's taken a multi-channel recording and put it down into stereo because all you really need to do is to cut the picture to the audio. So most of the time, setting this to camera one will be fine. And again, stereo or dual channel mono are the choices you're most likely going to make. I'm going to stay with stereo or, again, because... This is a stereo clip. I've got music or it's dual channel mono because I've got people on different mics. Those are the two you're going to pick. Just depends upon what your project is. 
This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 296. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.